Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to the final edition of the Effortless Change Seminar. It's also our Covenant Light devotion. So wherever you are, send out these links to as many people as you can. And join me for a time of prayer for marital settlement. Hallelujah.
His name is above loneliness. Oh, his name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above every other name. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come boldly before you today and we ask that you will move supernaturally among us today. Heavenly Father, I honor you, I worship you, and I exalt you, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Ghost and Father of mercy and grace, thou art well. Lord, 
le moques y la mocos queriendo coprate que los fredos prácticos de lemonga de deli y lo gramos queriendo lo prectos o braga ya ligue mojos que la brahasha le coca pasica topora bagacetelia cam hombre gilda e cosque o cosque talica bocha cataya oh salala brahaya lift your hands just worship him Welcome in this place. Oh, me, potent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Now I dwell, come in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we invite you to this meeting and ask you, we know you are here. We ask that you will help us at this time. As we come boldly before your throne of grace. You said come boldly before the throne of grace. To find, to obtain mercy and find grace to help in the hour of need. So we come. We come in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I want you to get ready to receive right now. Because the God we serve never, never fails. You have to understand as Sure as the sun rises and sets. He said, if you cannot break my covenant with the day or my covenant with the night, I, I and the day, we agreed there will always be day, there will always be night. So as regular as there is day and night, that's how consistent I am. If you can't break my covenant with the day or my covenant with the night, then you cannot, you can't stop my covenant with David. God is saying, my covenant with you cannot be broken. My agreement with you, as far as I am concerned, I will always, consistently, that's one of the anchors of my faith, the consistency of God. The consistency of God. That God is faithful. He doesn't fluctuate. He doesn't change. He's not a man. As sure as the sun rises and causes day and the moon comes up and brings the night with it. And as sure it has, as it has been consistent, so is God consistent. So is God consistent. So is God consistent. So is God consistent. It's a covenant. Finding none other by which to swear, the Bible said God swore by himself. For there is none greater than him. He swore by himself. And he said, surely in blessing I will bless you, in multiplying I will multiply you. God swore by himself that we can have the assurance of the immutability, the unchanging nature of his promise. And we can have confidence. Those of us who have chosen his word for our refuge, who has chosen his promise for our refuge, who have made him, him, the secret place where we dwell. He is our refuge and our fortress. We worship you, Father. We exalt you. Now, I, I said we're going to pray all of those prayers that I mentioned. And so I want you right now, wherever you are, now I'm going to pray them just like Jehoshaphat did on behalf of the whole of Israel. And Israel's agreement was that they are amen. So the moment you say amen to the prayer that I offer, then you are praying it with me and then we're going to pray in the spirit 
each one of us, so that the Holy Spirit will pray specifically for our own situation through us. And then we're going to pray a, cons- a prayer of consecration and pray in the Spirit. A prayer of casting of cares, pray in the Spirit. Bind the devil, pray in the Spirit. Offer thanksgiving and pray in the Spirit. Each one we pray, we pray in the Spirit and you allow the Holy Spirit and your Spirit, allow your Spirit to pray specifically now about your situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And if you don't speak in tongues, it's okay. When we are thanking God, just go ahead and thank God. When we are casting our cares, cast your cares. Oh, glory be to God. Father, I am here. I worship you, bless and praise you. We know that you are the most high. There is none greater. There is none higher. There is none bigger. There is none stronger. There is none mightier. In all the earth and beyond the earth, you are higher than the highest. You are greater than the greatest. You are bigger than the biggest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are better than the best that there is. I honor you. We worship you, Father. We bless you. You are the most high. We know that you are the most powerful. He said, is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything? You looked at men and you saw all of their issues and the way they wouldn't turn to you and you looked at them and said, Am I missing something? Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing. Jesus came and he said with God, nothing shall be impossible. We know you are the most wise. You are the only wise. The Bible says that you are the only wise God. And so Lord, today we come before you. Did you not say in your word, That our vindication is of you. In Isaiah 54. That our righteousness is of you. That our rights to claim our desires in line with your word. That it's of you. Did you not say that no tongue rising up against us in judgment should stand uncondemned? Did you not say that we can condemn every tongue against us in judgment? Is it not written? Did you not say who is going to bring a charge against God's elect? And so, Father, there is no charge against us. There is no reason why we should be unmarried or reason why we should be stay without a family or reason why we should be in marriages that are failing and that are troubling and be solitary even in marriage. There is no reason why. There is no, there is nothing that makes it right. Not what we did in the past. Not our errors. Not our mistakes. Because there is no charge. Because our vindication is of you. Did you not say that the desire of the righteous shall be granted? Is it not written in your word, Father, that God set it, the solitary in families? God sets the solitary, the one alone, God gives him his or her own family. Is it not written? Now, therefore, Father, behold. Behold, now there are among us gathered together, pray now. There are among us, even those who are not joined with us at this moment, but are are of us, are part of us. There are among us those who were married and right now are no longer married, either because the marriage failed or their partners died. They are solitary. There are among us those who are married and facing challenges and the marriage is as if they were not married. They are married but still solitary, still alone. There are among us 
those who are unmarried and desiring to be married and set in their own family. And it is written in your word, God sets the solitary in families. So we call on you. And he that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We call on you therefore arise and bring justice for us. Bring justice for each one of us. And fulfill your word. Set us in our families. Set us in our families. According to your will, plan and purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's in his name. It has to be done sir. It's in his name. Wherefore God had highly exalted that name. And given, uh, exalted Jesus and given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, things on earth and things beneath the earth. And therefore in that name. Let every attack against our marriages. Let every attack against any marriage of anyone under the sound of my voice now or later. Let any attack and every attack cease now in the name of Jesus. Maliko balamante keriandos. In the name of Jesus. Let every attack cease. And you that are walking to keep from marriage or to destroy existing marriage, every demonic entity, every entity whatsoever desist in your plans and stop in your maneuvers I decree in the name of Jesus cease and desist from your actions in the, regarding these marriages in the name of Jesus Christ Palesto Vadigabai Palesto Geber Yanoske Page sola pradiga mohoke teliama. Ampora bakashatalia. Speaking tongue, somebody. Melo keria moko sida gamoshta payane greduso. Elevre non ke ze libra gadima koria bakasateli. Liko parama haskeria nande. Alie kovra nate gebosha galiama. Malienonzi. Malienonzi. Malienegoza brakteji de galia. Pokesto kal aken to pragilia manto. Zikora bashatalia bramahaske, bramakosa katalia, bamake sola bamakaja, ne gobra, ne gezito, ne glazidia, maligreto, elevratha, eregazo, eregreduzo, palo coscopradia, malikando ziprataya, elo covino suprane, elo covino sicala, elo covino jagilobra, elo covino sicalona basca, elo covino shandeglianosca, elo covino compradiga maya, elo covino casitobra gayeto golia, elo covino manco pradiga la baye, macrovedosco tora baye cabusca lianande. Malienosava, Malienosava, Malienose Kelia Branane, Elozito Galia Brahmahaja, 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 Meko Branande Gezita Baye Kelebronde, Lekomos Kelianande. Lord, where the challenge is a lack of wisdom, we receive wisdom. Where the challenge is external, we receive protection. In Amon Sigalia and your shield, Igado Broko Tezelia Maha, 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 Malieko Branande, patterns of behavior. Lord, we receive strength to do what is right, to do our duties. Iman Kelika Monsi Kala Coste Paranande, we receive fresh wine. Inande Lia Brok Dojia, we receive empowerment, enablement by grace. By grace, by grace, Idoske, 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 Likambro, Dishkelia, 
Malusto palia non creto bolomon de riaba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now it's time to consecrate ourselves. So pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come before you and I throw away my specifications for a spouse and or for my marriage. I embrace what you want for me. Say that before God. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I know there are some among us who have had an image of what they want their marriage to be and they've refused to give it up and it's killing their existing marriage. You gave them something better, but they wouldn't wait and settle down and understand it and embrace it and accept it. We're sorry, sir. They've not accepted what you've given them. And there are some among us who have painted an image of the kind of spouse that they want. And right under their noses, there are people who in your will will be suitable, but have been ignored. So today, Father, on behalf of all of us, Lord, we consecrate ourselves. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Lord, left or right, we consecrate ourselves. A or B, let your will be done. Regarding timing, let your will be done. Let your will be done, Father. Let your will be done. And we stay in that middle place, ready to turn left or right, ready to wait a while or go forward. Let your will be done, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I will cause speed. I will cause speed for the wind is blowing in the direction of my wheel and alignment with my wheel will cause speed for the wind will carry you and not oppose you. <laughs> Say at the spirit. Say at the spirit. The Holy Ghost just said that now. And I will cause speed for my wind will carry you for you are aligned with my will for my wind blows in the direction of my wheel. And it will carry you and not oppose you. Oh, Randisco, Rende Gezelia, Rende Grismo, Rende Grito, Rende Gasti, Calianonsi, Pegalasso, Elevrato, Coronaga, Degarata, Gegaruso, Gerianombra, Galazustega, Bagarota, Kerenondre Gezelia, Mahakea, Nombra Gadi. And I have closed chapters. And you close chapters too. Close the chapter of the past. Say it's over. A new day has dawned. A new day has begun. And I will not refer to the things of the past and refer to the old. For behold, a new thing is done today, said the Spirit of God. I sense my Spirit, the Holy Ghost, calling people to close the chapters of the past. If you've married, living with your spouse and facing a lot of challenges, there is a line, assume that your marriage began today and stop referring, there's victory for someone, I see that word victory, and stop referring to the past and what he did and what she did and what he didn't do and what she didn't do. Close that door. Make it into a wall so there's no going back through that door. And let your marriage begin today. For I do a new thing, said the Spirit. For if you just met him today, there will not be what he did and, and allowing what was done in the past to eat away at the future. 
Close that door. Make it into a world. Cement it by the Holy Spirit. Stand there and move forward from there. It began today. It's a new you. It's a new him or her. And it's a new day. And for those that are unmarried, widowed or divorced, and you've looked at the mistakes of your past, you've looked at the errors, the opportunities you missed, and you have dwelt on them, close that door. Close that door now. Make it into a wall and walk forward. Move forward. Go forward from here. It began today. It's a new you. It's a new day. And the Lord has done a new thing. Oh, hallelujah. Lift your hand and worship him. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. You're the lamb upon the throne. And on to you we lift our voice in praise. You're the land upon the throne. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last. Lastly, we're going to cast our cares and we're going to begin to praise and thank God. When you cast your cares, you're saying, Father, I am no longer going to worry about this. I'm no longer going to be anxious about this. I'm no longer going to be concerned about this. anxiety, concern, and worry. You are giving it up. And you are saying that every time thoughts that bring anxiety, concern, and worry, where this issue of your marriage is concerned, every time that you will open your mouth, recognize you've rolled the care over to God, and simply thank Him for handling it. That's your commitment. So let's pray. Now you will pray this one with me. So say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning my marriage, and everything that has to do with me being settled in a marriage that glorifies you and that is a blessing to me, and my spouse and our kids I roll the care the concern the anxiety and the worry over to you from this moment regarding timing regarding the person regarding events I roll every care to you and from this moment I refuse to touch it with my mind except in praise and in thanksgiving. I stand by this declaration. This is my decision. It's a quality decision. And there is no turning back from it. Satan, you can't stop me from this decision. You can't stop me. Don't even try to. In the name of Jesus, I will not allow thoughts of anxiety, concern, and worry in my mind from this day forward where my marriage is concerned. In Jesus' name. Lord, it's your responsibility now. I will do what you ask me to do. I will carry out your instruction. But you own the outcome. And I thank you for this. In Jesus' name. Now lift your hands and pray a prayer of thanksgiving in your own words. 
begin to thank God because it's over. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Alibra mangelia nombra gedis matelia grabodosh teranaya. Father, thank you. 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 Blessed be your holy name forever. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Now, your position going forward is, number one, your cares have been cast. So every time thoughts come to you that are contrary, you say, I've rolled over the care to God. God is now in charge. God is now handling it. And I refuse to touch it with my thoughts except in praise and thanksgiving. And immediately you get into praise. You start thanking God for he's the one that sets the solitary in families because he said that the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So it has been granted. It has been granted. It has been granted. And so you thank him for all that. And then you pray in the spirit. See those three things? The casting of cares maintain that position. Move into praise and thanksgiving and pray in the spirit. That's your, 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 your walk going forward where marriage is concerned. Your conversation with God, your prayers going forward is recognize that the care has been rolled over to God. Thank him. Pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I believe you are too. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Whether you're married or you're trying to get married, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. And the oil of God and the wisdom of God and the power of God is flowing again in your marriage and regarding your marriage to bring it to pass and to make it better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is done. Yes, Lord. It is done. Thank you, sir. Okay. So thank you for joining in. I look forward to have you join me. This is the last. So we're not having tonight. We're not having um, the Effortless Change Seminar. It ends with this prayer. And make sure you are in church. If you are in, in, in Nairobi, joining us in Nairobi. Um, join us at the, the Palm Villas. We're having missional community parties um, all through this month of January. And so we're meeting in a home to just bond together, get to know each other and have glorious fun. If you're, in, if you're joining us from Nigeria, then make sure that you find your way to a Covenant Light Church um, wherever you are and experience God as we step into this new year. Um, and also, we have the Covenant Light Global Online Church this Sunday. And so, if you are not in any of these locations and you do not have a Covenant Light around you and you would like to be part of a Covenant Light Church, the Covenant Light Global Online Church is a full-fledged online church, not a recording of um, a physical meeting that is just put online. It's directly to you who are out there. And you can join in 1 p.m. East African, um, 3 p.m. East African time and 1 p.m. West African time. We have a, a, a global crossover service um, on the 31st, which is tomorrow. Global crossover service um, that I'll be leading from 10 p.m. East African time. Um, the links will be posted into all the various places you got these links from. And you make sure that you are part of it. As I speak um, prophetically um, into our lives and speak also what God is showing about the new year. Hallelujah. So it's going to be a great time the next few days as we cross over into the new year. Don't miss it. Thank you for joining in. Join me again. Till then, remember, you are loved by God. It's unconditional. And because of it, you're experiencing his wisdom, his power, and his favor. Keep living in the consciousness of the love that God has for you. Have a wonderful day today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.